Undertaker approaching Minato because he's tired of his Rasengan spam. Ladies and gentlemen, Undertaker with the Toad Slam! What's up, guys? Let me ask you a question. Do you want to be the Undertaker in Naruto Storm 4? Do you not know who the Undertaker is? It doesn't matter. Do you want to do this cool attack called the Tombstone in Naruto Storm 4? Good. Then you came to the right video. We're going to be taking a look at I. And by the way, I'm actually going to call him the Undertaker for the rest of the video because what kind of name is I? Like, I... I see what you're doing there. Or, I... That hurt. I don't really know. Forget it. We're not going to call him I. We're going to call him The Undertaker because this man is The Undertaker, period. Anyways, end of the discussion. Let's talk grab setups with this dude. Eight hits in after he does his shoulder charge thingy. You guys quickly want to go for the grab. If you guys don't time it correctly and if you guys are playing with a dude that's like very, very fast, like for example, Minato, he will be able to counter that grab. That is not a safe grab setup. Like I said, uh, I'm just telling you guys the grab setup that I found that could prove helpful if you're not facing a super tryhard. I always like to give you guys the option. You guys know what it is. So uh, this neutral combo, it's just pretty simple. You know, you guys can cancel four hits in, five hits in. But obviously the ideal um, time to cancel is five hits in when he actually smashes the person into the ground. A tip that I can give you guys with I, so five hits in, you guys just want to cancel, fill the shopping bags, and then just continue your combo. In a way, it's going to be an infinite combo, but, you know, not really, because, you know, you have to throw your shopping bags. Another thing that you guys can do, five hits into the neutral combo, you guys can just, oh well, wait, oops. Five hits into the neutral combo, you guys can just uh, activate your attack tag, and, you know, when the dude gets up, just straight up punish him with the toast, man! Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it when it comes down to the neutral combo. Now let's talk about the ultimate jutsu cancel, of course, with the neutral combo. And you guys probably guessed it. Five hits in, you guys want to go for the ultimate. I mean, uh, the, you know, the tombstone. You guys want to go for the ultimate. Easy, easy ultimate. Probably the safest, easiest ultimate jutsu cancel, uh, in Storm 4. Or one of the safest, I guess. So with the up combo, you know, the same situation applies. You guys can cancel four hits in, three hits in. You guys can cancel after the shoulder charge and then just go for the tilt. Oh, I actually didn't mean to do that. Well, yeah, uh, eight hits into the up combo. If you guys are playing with a noob, you guys can cancel and then go for the tilt. That's probably going to uh, get them off guard. When it comes down to the ultimate jutsu cancel with the up combo, it's going to be eight hits in. And this one, you guys have to be a little careful with the timing. Obviously, you don't want to mess it up. Uh, let's wait until bitch boy Minato uh, starts uh, stops guarding. Thank you, Minato. And get ready because you're about to get choke slam. As you guys can see, easy, easy, easy ultimate jutsu cancel. And that's pretty much it when it comes down to ultimate jutsu cancels. Uh, you know, when it comes down to the Undertaker. Um, the down combo, same thing. You guys can also cancel whenever the hell you guys feel like it. Uh, probably what you guys would like to cancel, uh, six hits in and then throw the little shopping bags. I actually didn't mean to do that. But yeah, six hits. Oh my god. Come on, Undertaker. Oh, I guess it's five hits. Oh, okay. So I guess I'm wrong. But yeah, uh, five hits in. You guys can cancel. Uh, and yeah, if you guys don't cancel five hits in, keep in mind that you will do his down combo. Uh, uh, Undertaker's down combos are very, very... What's this thing called? Um, Very, very short, uh, you know, if you guys have noticed. Let's talk about strike back tactics. Actually, before we talk about strike back tactics, as you guys know, I don't cover awakenings on guides. I only cover awakenings if it has something unique and special. And of course, I am going to cover this dude's awakening because it's very special. When you guys chakra dash, you will not chakra dash. You will just teleport, like right behind the person. So in other words, if you are facing uh, Hinata and you're playing as I, and you teleport behind her, tell Hinata to run, because he's about to get destroyed by that beep. Um, but anyways, yeah, that's one thing about uh, I in his awakening. Uh, when he chakra dashes, he chakra dashes behind the person to completely destroy their anal hole with his little lightning bolts. Uh, another thing about I, obviously the lateral bolt of pain, yeah, whatever. You know, I don't, I don't really recommend that you guys go for that attack, but of course, an attack that I do recommend you guys to go to is the tombstone as you guys can see it's going to be straight up fire so yeah also his speed increases when uh, he's in awakening as you guys can see his combo way 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 faster but yeah guys that's pretty much it when it comes down to i let's talk about strike back tactics actually before i forget uh storm god in unlimited and let's put retry right here so if you guys just want to go on a practice session and relieve some stress, I recommend to choose this guy because his combos are just brutal. I mean, look at this thing. So insane. Like, I was actually, I actually picked 1010, but I was like, oh my God, I can't show a people of a, a video of me using I and just 
destroying 1010 that would be a crime all right so let's do let's go talk about strike back right you guys can do the tilt and after this tilt you guys can go for another tilt all right another one uh also another thing that you guys can do wait, wait i don't want to put this guy in the middle uh, another thing that you guys can do is the ninjutsu and of course the ultimate so we're gonna do the tilt and i'm going to go for the tombstone as you guys can see right there now actually i'm very very glad that i was able to do the tombstone on the biggest piece of shit in naruto anime oh my god that just felt amazing jesus christ um you guys can also go for the ninjutsu like i said i'm not really good at timing ninjutsu but wow i'm actually gonna be able to get this one but yeah guys that's pretty much it when it comes down to i hope you guys enjoyed this character guide the dude that requested it um I'm, i hope you enjoyed it i hope you found it helpful if you guys want to request a character guide feel free to put it down in the comment sections below and be patient the guide will come out eventually anyways hope you enjoyed this guide if you did drop a pineapple a pear a like subscribe to join the undertaker the undertaker cartel and i'll be seeing you guys on the next video peace out